Welcome aboard. On the map in front of you, please show us where you're from while we input your time travel coordinates. Now locate the monitor overhead to the right. Make sure your face is clearly visible and wait for the flash. Good. Sending photo to the future. All systems are go. Linking you now to your guide. Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed through the universe of time. And for a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. But where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover there? Surprisingly, the answers lie in our past. Since the dawn of recorded history, we've been inventing the future one step at a time. So, let's travel back in time together. I'll show you how our ancestors created the world we know today. And then it will be your turn to create the world of tomorrow. Here, in this hostile world, is where our story begins. We are alone, struggling to survive, until we learn to communicate with one another. Now we can hunt as a team, and survive together. It takes 15,000 years to come up with the next bright idea, recording our knowledge on cave walls. There was only one small problem. When we moved, the recorded knowledge stayed behind. Now let's move ahead to ancient Egypt, because something is about to happen here that will change the future forever. unknown Egyptian pounding reeds flat is inventing papyrus, a sort of paper. Papyrus in turn creates better record keeping of plans, designs and unfortunately taxes. But it also brings with it the dawn of great civilizations. At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. The ancient Greeks were great inventors of the future. First, they establish public schools, and then begin teaching an intriguing new subject called mathematics. And with math comes mechanical technology and the birth of the high-tech life we enjoy today. With lessons learned from the Greeks, the Romans create a powerful empire. To move their armies around, they build a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. But then we hit a roadblock. Rome falls, and the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning is destroyed, lost forever. Or so we think. It turns out there are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them are dreams of the future. Monks toil endlessly recording books by hand. But that is about to change.
1450, Gutenberg invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field, and the result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance. Technology races headlong into the future, and soon people all over the world are sharing life's most important moments faster than ever before. from anywhere on earth and in 1969 from somewhere else. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. To send a man to the moon, we had to invent a new language, spoken not by man, but by computers. At first, very large, very expensive computers, but we see the potential. Everyone could have one of these amazing machines in their own house. There's just one problem. They're as big as a house. The solution comes in, of all places, a garage in California. Young people with a passion for shaping the future put the power of the computer in everyone's hands. Together we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance. After 30,000 years of time travel, here we are, a truly global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Attention travelers, please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating backward for your return to Earth. In preparation for your return to Earth, your time machine is now rotating backward. Please remain seated. Attention. You are now rotating back. can have a say about the kind of world we want to live in. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn.
creating the future, shall we? On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll show you a new world, custom made just for you. Ready? your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. Thanks to you, the color of the future is green. Your pedal-powered bike requires no fuel, and your green home conserves and generates its own energy. Your garden is filled with fruits and vegetables, grown with recycled water or distilled seawater. Your green home will have its own water recycling system, and even the walls will be recycled. Things you use every day, from plastic bottles to blue jeans, will be recycled into building materials. Without sacrificing your comfort, your living room can be an actual living room with real grass providing a natural carpet. And the mountains are never far away, thanks to digital displays that can create the environment you prefer. You can live the good life and the green life in your home in the country, because in the future, every day is Earth Day. The end, or should I say the beginning of your future. So here's to the next 30,000 years on Spaceship Earth. While no one knows for sure what we'll see or do, I do know it will be quite an adventure. An adventure that we'll take and make together. See you in the future. <laughs> 